Hi everyone, well this is going to be a review of Code Rabbit, uh, a cool stack for, uh, well, pull requests review. And this is something important at these days because of byte coding. Okay, so what I am going to say sounds pretty simple, but it's uh, it has a lot of importance. Nowadays, uh, the byte coding is being way too popular. Uh, all the developers, well, most of the developers and designers and different professionals are creating their products with pipe coding, with AI, and it is creating uh, a lot of code without review also. So this will be a great way to, uh, well, make the, this uh, necessary checks for the code that the, that the pipe coding generates. And it has great uh, security policies, so you don't have to mind uh, that they stole your code or, or something like that. Um, so, well, once you connect your repository and afterwards you work on, you, on that repository, you will need to, well, as it is a good practice to work on different branches uh, and, well, afterwards make the merge on the main branch or uh, depending on the system that you use. But in that moment, you are going to create a pull request that here is what I have done. So uh, we are going to see. This is the actual uh, UI for the production um, product, right? So I have been making these changes. Wait a minute. Really cool, uh, more uh, more cool and well useful to have this. Uh, well, the streak is something uh, my user Kilian I send you uh, a great hug uh, suggested, and also well the calendar view. We are going to go there. It's way too messy, but well, uh, here we are going to see that's way more simple and boring. Wait a minute, like that. So I have created all these features, and I here I just well I had uploaded my my changes, and after that I have created the pull request. Uh, this summary has been made for. Uh, from uh, by Code Rabbit, so that's pretty interesting. It is like detailing all the different uh, changes I have made up to now on this UI you see here. You can see a data strip counter that will be this little guy here. What is interesting here, I am working on this project alone, so this is great for me to see what I have been doing. If I have, if I send a big uh, pull request and I have a sorry. I have a branch that I have a lot of changes, and I need to merge it on main. I initially do this pull request, and I will have all the different things uh, that I have done with a summary. Well, following up, that's not all. It makes you like a, a big summary and suggestions. And well, here there are the commits uh, I have made uh, for. Well, you can see here and here these two. Uh, these are all the files that uh, Code Rabbit detects that have had changes. And well, here it has a, a little fun um, phrase. Here a tip I don't mind. Here I selected a generate doc string that this will create a separate branch and would add the doc screens uh, dot, dot string sorry that will be for better practice and well having a better documentation for the project. And well here. It has the tips I was watching uh, recently, and it has all the different ways you can interact with the code rabbit. And um, pretty interesting. I am going to to stick a pen on it, and we'll be like trying it out on the different days. Um, well, here are also all the different commands you have for code rabbit. Um, these are all different suggestions that code rabbit gives to you. So this is pretty interesting, pretty awesome. Um, I will be definitely using it uh, in more of this kind of of projects that I work alone um, maybe using it with my team on my part-time job sorry something I missed out completely and it's really nice and cool this this will be a walkthrough of all the different changes I have been working and a different description for every single file so this is poor uh, insane and that's not all, last but not least, the sequence diagram. This is 
really nice and and it's something I I really wanted to, to see on my on my code. As I already know how my code works and how well all the different uh, features that I upload work. But this is really nice to see and to understand and maybe it needs some uh, polish but it is working fine and, uh, and it's great. Here uh poem. I don't prefer it, but it is there and cool. Um, here I can generate the doc string, but I will not right now. And well, that will be a little bit about it. So, well, I have solved the well the different uh, issues or suggestions. Um, I have only applied this one, but they were really interesting, and it is really nice to see how does this work the next one thanks for watching and i wish this wasn't so so different to see for you uh, have a nice day and see you